Alright, so I got finally my uh, zombies in the mail and some other stuff in the mail. So, uh, this is what I was talking about when you make your zombies um, dramatic. Move that light a little bit. So I have some of them like, you know, coming out of the ground, bursting out of the grave. Uh, I really love the uh, grabbing because zombies really don't fight with melee weapons too well because um, they're brain dead. Um, so a lot of the grabs, and it's a lot of the, uh, even though they have a weapon in their hand, they're still trying to grab at your brains. This one's cool because it's kind of like grabbing at the torso a little bit. So, you know, bursting out of the ground. Here are some uh, ones coming out of the graves as well. Um, just regular foot ones as well. So I really like using these because um, I don't have a zombie unit in my uh, army. Um, it'll be summoning the zombies for march blocking and flanking attacks. So most of them will be bursting on the ground. And I kind of have these ranks right here for when they have to, uh, when I uh, beef up the unit if I want to hold them. Um, all right, so that's that. And if you remember my uh, my vampires right here. Um, right now, here's what I got here. Um, uh, I got some uh, skelly heads in the mail and a chaos unit thing in the mail. I clipped some of the uh, spikes off because they're really stupid looking. And what I got going is, um, here's my uh, vampire uh, countess. This is what I'm using, my vampire countess. She's pretty cool. I uh, can't really tell too well because it's not painted yet, um, but I will definitely paint that and show you in better detail. She's really cool looking, really cool looking. Extra base so it matches the big base. And what I'm doing is taking these uh, Chaos Shields, because this is my Grave Guard unit, and filing them down so they don't have Chaos marks on any of the shields. And I'll be painting those shields. And um, taking those Skelly Heads and going ahead and putting them on, using some green stuff to give them necks. And here's the musician. And got the uh, banner with the from the zombie unit corpse coming off it. Um, so they're turning out really cool. Um, the champion with the two weapons, he's really cool. He's like Conan, like the dead barbarian. And um, he's looking pretty badass. It's a bag from the zombie unit. So it's got cool, like, extra little bits on it. Even though he's only, like, cooler as in he's got one attack. But, you know, one extra attack. So they're coming, coming out pretty cool. So the skeletons, just giving them next and still putting the skulls right in there. I wanted my Grave Guard unit to look really, really beefy because they're supposed to be really ancient armor, really tough armor. So I gave them like the beefiest thing, uh, uh, armor that I could think of, which is the Chaos armor. They're huge, and it really, you know, really shows the very dramatic, really small skeletons in these huge armor. Um, if you read some of the stories in um, the Vampire Counts book, it kind of says that like the uh, Silver Princess. I might make her the Silver Princess, but like. Uh, or the Silver Queen or whatever, I don't know, um, that these huge clunking armors that, like, tower over these people, you know, ancient scary armor, they didn't really know what it was until the armor was released, or, uh, the, uh, helmets were revealed that the, uh, undead skeletons in this huge ancient armor, so that's what I got going on right now, um, still gotta put some heads on these and sand off some shields, and I'll be starting making my, uh, vampire counts, yeah, that's that.